All right, you chunky chickens, listen up. In this video, I'm going to be covering shapes and graphics, and I'm only going to be touching on it a little bit because I eventually want to get into like um, showing you guys how to put images and icons on pretty much your GUIs. But for now, I'll show you guys how to make some simple shapes because it does come in handy a lot, especially whenever you're trying to make graphs and anything like that. So the first thing we need, kind of like in real life, is something to draw on. Now, just like if you're painting an art class, what we use is a canvas. And this is actually going to be pretty familiar if you ever worked with the HTML5 canvas. But it's basically a blank white area. And you're allowed to draw on it, aka make shapes on it. So you can't just make a shape in the normal frame or a normal window. You actually need this canvas to draw on, so just remember that. So make an object name and set it equal to canvas. Now the parameters of this are, of course, where is it going? Well, first of all, it's going in your main window, of course. And it also needs to know how big am I supposed to make this canvas? Well, let's just go ahead and give it a width of 200 pixels. But you just write 200, not pixels and give it a height of 100. So now if you just run this right now, actually let me pack it in there first. So canvas pack and I'll actually just run it for you. We can see that it kind of just looks like blank but there is indeed a canvas there and it is 200 wide by 100 tall. And this thing we can create shapes on. Don't believe me? Well I will prove it to you right now. So I'll just show you guys how to make some really simple stuff first. So I'll make a couple of lines. So by default, all your shapes and all your lines are going to be black. So whenever I create um, a line and I want it to be black, I don't need to specify color, black, fill black, anything like that. So the first thing you do is say, OK, you're going to draw a shape. What are you drawing it on? Well, we only have one canvas right here, so it's pretty easy to say this is what we're drawing on then use a dot separator and now you can call a function on it so what we want to do is you can see pretty much all of them that pop up what kind of thing do you want to create do you want to create um, like an oval a line well for now we we'll just create a basic line now of course whenever you're creating a line all you need is it's actually four parameters but it's really two two points a beginning point and an ending point. Now of course each point is made up of an X and a Y coordinate so by default or just to start things out I'll start it at 0 0. Now of course it starts from the top left so 0 0 means in the top left corner 0 in the X direction 0 in the Y direction. So the first two is your X and Y of your starting point. So the next two numbers you put in I'll just put 250 what this is are your ending point so go 200 over and 50 down in other words 200 in the x direction and 50 in the y direction and that's where I want you to end so for a line you just need to give a starting point ending point and you know not all the points in between because what's the point of that get it point I don't, know. don't worry about it all right so now let's go ahead and create one more I'll make a red one and then after this, you guys would be like pros and make a line. All right, so canvas, great line. Uh, let's start this one. Let's see how big is our. So our little canvas is a hundred tall. So I'll I'll start this one in the bottom left. So of course that one would be zero because it's zero in the x direction still, and one hundred. So that's going to start at the bottom left zero or over which is in the same place and 100 down so I actually put this uh, I don't know might as well like end it in the same spot so whenever you do that then they're gonna start in different places but they're gonna be touching at the end so that's how you do that little maneuver and also another thing I want to do is even though that this is just the line and this may seem kind of confusing if you ever work with Photoshop because you don't need a fill. You just like need a stroke. Well, everything in Kinter has a fill, even lines, even though it like doesn't get filled with anything because it's one pixel. But if you set this equal to red, 
pretty much means, hey, make my line red. Simple enough. So now we got a black line and a red line. Actually, I can run this right now and show you guys. Of course, this one starts at 0, 0, goes to 250. This one starts at 0, 100. It goes to 250, of course. So now we know how to make basic lines. What does this look like? Nothing. All right. So might as well show you guys how to make a real simple shape now because it's a little bit different. All right. So I'll make a green box. So I'm going to name it green box. Why the heck not? And just like before, say, where do you want to draw it? And also, what do you want to do? Well, we want to create a rectangle. So there we go. That's the function name, create underscore rectangle. Now the parameters for this are kind of, I don't want to say confusing, but they're not very intuitive. The first parameter is you need to give it a point. Now the point you give it is the top left of the rectangle. So basically it's asking where do you want the top left of the rectangle to be? Well, just so it isn't butting up right against the corner, let's move it in a little bit. 25, 25. So this means go over 25, go down 25, and that's where the top left is going to be. Now the next two parameters are the width and the height of the rectangle. So I'm going to say like 130 and I don't know, I don't want to go, I'll go 60. So go over 25, down 25, and from that point make a rectangle that's 130 pixels by 60 pixels tall. And of course, what we can do is just fill this to, what color was it, green. So all this does, if you run it, as you can see, it goes over 25, down 25, and then it makes a rectangle 130 by 60. Simple enough. So just by looking at this, it's kind of confusing, but once we understand it, we're good to go. Now. For this tutorial, we drew all the stuff that I wanted to demonstrate, you know, just real simple stuff. If you want to figure out how to make ovals and stuff like that, it's really easy just to learn. But eventually, whenever you're making these applications, you're going to want to delete these graphics. And I just don't mean um, delete them by closing out your window. Sometimes you're going to want your window interactive to change. So you're going to want to hide and show these graphics. So whenever you want to delete something, what you do is you call the delete function. Now inside here, what you can do is you can pass it a parameter of whatever object you want to delete. So we'll say that we want to delete that red line. So let's run this. So what this is going to do, hold on. Got like a random hair tickling my ear, stupid hair. So what this is going to do in the blink of an eye is draw this black line and draw the red line and then draw the green box and then it's going to delete the red line. So of course in this example it's kind of stupid because we might as well not have even drawn the red line but eventually um, you're going to have an application where like the user makes a graph and maybe it's like showing stock prices and then the red line might be like Microsoft like okay hide this so they click a button and then it will delete. So of course you never want to do it um, just like this because it's kind of a waste of time. But you would have a you have like a button that has the delete functionality. That's an example. And another cool thing is this: whenever you want to delete all of the graphics on your canvas, what you can do instead of having a line for red line, black line, and green box, you can just pass in all. Now, of course, what this is going to do is, as you guessed, take whatever is on this canvas, whatever you drew, and just wipe it all clean. So that's going to save you guys a bunch of time. And with those basic um, functions, you guys have a pretty good understanding of the canvas. I'm probably going to be teaching you guys a few more um, complex things that you can do with graphics on it. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Of course, all of the source code is going to be on my forum. I am going to go, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do, probably go eat some bacon or maybe go eat a donut or something, irrelevant, I'll see you guys next time.